Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Wisely NVIDIA Control Panel for high, low and average graphic card. I mean by high is for the first series of GTX graphic card, for low is for the first series of GT graphic and for average is for the last series of GT graphic. And for very good is for the last series of GTX. Alright guys, so make sure that you have a benchmark software, for me I prefer Benchmark Ballet. So run it, take a screenshot of your result to see how many FPS you have and close it. And then when you change the settings in your NVIDIA control panel, run it again and see if there is any improvement. So let's go to NVIDIA control panel. So right click on the... Uh, desktop and then choose NVIDIA control panel then click on manage 3D settings so the first thing that you need to do is to change this to high performance and then go to ambient occlusion and switch it to change it to off then you can change it in game to SSAO or to HPAO plus depends on your graphic card and for anisotropic filtering go and change it to application control for uh, for GTX and for a uh, low graphic card choose off for me I prefer to application control and then I can change it in game this one if you have it switch it to on actually I seen mode so this one if you have a low graphic card choose off if you have a GTX graphic card choose application control then you can change it in game and if you have a very good graphic card like the last series of GTX choose this one and then you will have more options here and you can choose 4 or 8 to get better quality in my case I prefer to have this application control and then I can change it in game. Here, anti aliasing transparency. So, here, if you have a low graphic card, choose off for average graphic card, choose multi simple. And for GTX graphic card, choose uh, two. Uh, for example, for me, it's two. Last series of GTX graphic card, choose eight for better quality. In my case, two is the best choice. This one just choose uh, all, good at GPUs, all, and here maximum pre rendered frames. It just related to the delay between the mouse and the gamepad. So if you have any issues with that, choose one. Uh, in my case, I don't have any problem, so I just use the 3D application settings. Multiple display or mixed GPU acceleration. All right, guys, here you need to be careful. So you will find by default multiple display and this is the wrong choice because it's, it's useless for you. It's just related to uh, the ones who have like multiple displays so this one is the best choice. If you have just one display so choose single display. Power management mode. This one I prefer to have it in adaptive because you can run application with the uh, the best power uh, and if you don't use any application so you don't use a lot of power so you just save some power so it's good for you let's go to shader cache so this one is really important if you choose on so it's really improve the stuttering you won't have any stuttering and it really improved the load time so switch it to on if you have it this one keep it off this one if you have a texture filtering negative load bias so this one if you have a low graphic card so choose allow and if you are a good graphic card choose clamp for me clamp is the best choice texture filtering quality if you have GTX 
graphic cards so choose between quality and high quality if you have a low graphic card high performance average graphic card performance for me I prefer high quality because it doesn't uh, decrease a lot of FPS uh, texture filtering on and treated optimization so this one choose auto because it's gonna work uh, your application gonna work at the peak of performance when you choose auto and do, when you don't use any application so you don't use a lot of your CPUs or GPUs so here for triple buffering is related to vertical sync so if you have like a good graphic card like the last uh, series of GTX and you have like more than 60 FPS and you have that problem with tearing screen and everything so I advise you to choose vertical sync on and then choose triple buffering on in my case I don't have in the last games like Far Cry 4 or Assassin's Creed uh, like more than 60 FPS so I prefer to keep it here use the 3d application setting to change it in game in this one to switch it to off here it just related to virtual reality headset for example oculus rift so if you have an oculus rift use the 3d settings if you don't have it just you choose one then you can just click to apply and then uh, you, you need to run again uh, the benchmark and see if there is any improvement in case there is any improvement keep it like this if you find just, uh, like uh, you don't have any improvement or you it's just reduce your FPS just you can click on the restart button and the, then everything gonna be by default and just uh, choose high performance because is the best choice uh, I hope that this uh, video will be helpful for you and don't forget to like share and subscribe and you can see my other videos here